this lecture is on design of arithmetic circuits. Uh, in this uh, class, we will read that how uh, we can design the different type of adders, multipliers and other arithmetic units. As the adder is the most uh, important and the uh, mostly used digital circuits uh, in the in a digital system. So, first we will see that uh, the different type of adder design and its performances and which one is uh, suited for what type of design etcetera. So, first, first we start discussion on the adder design. As all of we know that um, um, uh, what is the uh, truth table of one bit adder. So, if we know that if it is a one bit mean the bit can be either 0 or 1. So, there are different uh, four possibilities that either 0 is can be added with 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1. In all these three cases the carry is 0, carry is 0. Now, 1 plus 1 is 1 0. So, if we see that binary this is 0, 1 1 1 and actually 1 0 means this is 2 represented in binary. So, this is 1 0. So, 0 is the result or the sum of 1 1 plus 1 sum of 1 plus 1 and this 1 is the carry. So, in this case carry is 1. So, these are the um, 1 bit adder functions. So, from here only one thing we can tell that we require 2 output of a adder that means, if I draw a black box that if it is a adder circuitry then actually I have two output one is sum one is carry and say I have two inputs to be added. Okay. So, now uh, we say what we call that half adder see that just now the equations I got that what is the thing that if I uh, represent this uh, as a truth table. So, I have two input functions these are my in the truth table that a 0 b 0 is the these are my these are the inputs two inputs and a 0 and c are the sum and carry these are my two output. So, these two operands a b that can be 0 0, 0 1, 1 0 or 1 1. So, already we have seen that 0 0 sum is 0 carry is also 0, 0 1 sum is 1 carry is 0. 1 0 means 1 plus 0 sum is 1 carry is 0. Now, 1 plus 1 sum is 0 sum is 0 carry is 1. So, this is my truth table. Now, if we uh, realize this truth table um, or if we minimize this one, we will get the functions, the sum functions is A x or B or that A 0 x or B 0. So, the 2 x or of 2 operands, this is my sum and the carry will be simply the AND function means C is A B that means C 1 is A 0 B 0. So, I get 
the carry I give the carry is a b if a and b I want to add and the sum is a x or b. So, these are the two things I need. Now, if I draw the diagram the half header. So, the block diagram is this is a half one bit half header and these are the two inputs a b and two outputs are s and sum and carry. Now, what will be the uh, gate level diagram as already we have seen the sum is nothing but a x or b. So, this is x or function. So, this is my uh, x or the sum and this is my a b means this is my carry. So, 1 x or get 1 2 input and get. Now, what is the full error? Because that now we know that if it is a instead of 1 bit I need a 2 bit. So, concept is that say if I I have um, say my a is a 4 bit say say 0 1 0 1 b operand is also a 4 bit say 1 0 1 1. If I want to add a say plus b here it is addition plus is addition then actually this is this one is a 1 bit adder this one is a 1 bit adder this is a 1 bit adder this is a 1 bit adder but see here 1 plus 1 is 0 and i need a carry 1 because here carry is 1 so actually here it is not a 2 operand rather it is a it is a 3 operand so this one is a 3 operand not 2 again this is a 1 plus 0 1 plus 1 again 0 carry 1 now again 1 plus 1 this is a 3 this becomes a 3 operand adder then or 3 input adder then again it is 0 again it is 1 so 0 then carry 1 so this type of circuit uh, will get now we see so so actually here this sometimes from the second bit onwards for the first bit it is a 2 bit adder for the second bit onwards it is a 3 bit so instead of 2 bit now the full adder uh, is become full adder, um, 3 inputs that a b and C i. See so, this is the three inputs. And this is one sum is one output, carry is the next output. Now, as it is a three input, so actually this is the carry bit coming from the previous uh, bit sum. So, as it is a 3 input, so a i b i plus c i if I um, write in this way. So, it has 2 to the power 3, 8 such combinations and for these 8 we can put the sum and carry in this way and from there we can realize the output functions, the sum functions and the carry functions are the sum are a b dash c dash a dash b dash c a dash b c dash plus a b c. 
So, so this is my sum. This is my this is my sum functions. Sum. Similarly, the carry we get C is A B plus B C plus C A. This is my carry. So, these are the two outputs of the food adder. Already earlier also we discussed this thing, all of we know this. So, now this full adder can be implemented by using two half adders. See that the carry is um, we can write a b plus if it is 2 bit earlier if it is a 2 bit sum. So, this is a x or b i a i x or b i and this is with c i. So, this is nothing but that a i a b plus b c plus c a and similarly that sum this is the actually XOR of the 3 inputs. So, if we add 2 half adders, so where here A i B i is, so actually we are doing that bit wise addition. So, A i B i, I get the sum of the first bits and this is the a b is the carry. Now, again this is the the, the sum of the first two bits l s b is that is going to that input of the x or this is the carry of the previous 2 bits. So, this is the carry of the previous 2 bits and I need another one. So, for the carry itself. So, actually if we put 2 half adder side by side and the output of the previous one is fed to the next one, then actually I will be getting the sum and the carry of the full adder. See actually the it, it realizes, so this is my if I if I write in this way, this is my A x or B. A x or B and now C i is comes here. So, this is A x or B x or C i. So, this is my sum, this is the thing. This is the thing and the carry bit say this is my this is my a b and this is a b plus this is my or and a i. So, this output is c i this output is c i and this output a x or b. So, this is c i into c i dot a x or b and this is my a b. So, this is a plus. So, this will give the carry of this realizes the carry here. So, by operating two half adders, I can get a one full adder. 
Now, we one by one we start reading different type of adder design. So, first one we will see the ripple carry adder. So, this is one example of a 4 bit adder that means the two operands A and B, A is A is A 0, A 0, A 1, A 2, A 3. Similarly, B is B 3, B 2, B 1, B 0. So, these are 4 bit operands. So, what we want? So, this is a A 0, B 0 and the as if that some carry is coming for the LSB this carry is 0, the initially the carry is 0. So, this is a full adder. So, one carry is coming from the as if this is the initial carry. Now, the carry is propagating here again this is a full adder. Now, the carry comes here this is a 3 full adder again this is a full adder. So, if we see now this full adder it has 3 inputs the LSB is 0 B 0 and the initial carry which is assumed as 0 initially. Then the sum is A 0 B 0 plus C 0 this is my the first bit or the LSB bit of the 4 bit sum is 0. Now, the carry is propagated. So, this is my C 1. Then the second this is for the second LSB that means A 1 B 1 and C 1 is the 3 input S 1 is the sum. Then the carry is propagated the C 2 similarly A 2 B 2 C 2 this is S 2 C 3 H 2 B 3 S 2 then C 4. So, these S 3 S 2 S 1 S 0 is my sum 4 bit sum this is my 4 bit sum and this is my carry carry of the the adder. See why the name is as if the there is some rippling effect that means carry is propagated from the input to output means from LSB side to MSB side. So, this is called the that is why it is called the ripple carry adder. Then what is the propagation delay? So, this is my propagation delay of the 4 bit or say M 1 general n bit ripple carry adder. See here if it is a n bit ripple carry adder say so for this case n equal to 4. So, actually carry is ripple, rippled thrice C 1, C 2, C 3. So, the delay is needed for this in this case it is 3 that means for n, n bit adder it should be n minus 1. So, n minus 1 into T carry if the propagation delay for the carry bit is T carry then it is total is n minus 1 into T carry and this is the propagation delay for the sum. So, the total time or the processing time or the propagation delay of the T adder ripple carry adder is the n minus 1 into T carry plus T sum. Okay. So, one thing is clear that if n is very large say I want a uh, 128 bit adder and then this should be a, the delay is quite large because this is 127 into some carry propagation for 1 bit and this is for sum. So, actually for carry propagation delay is is huge. Now, this is a carry look ahead adder. So, as the carry if the carry is propagating bit by bit then the, the propagation delay is more the, the adder will be slow. So, a new type of adder it is called the carry look ahead that is again proposed the design is proposed. So, for this purposes as if we propose two functions one is called generate another is called propagate. So, if we remember 
the sum and carry functions of half order. So, actually the two functions one is and that is my for my carry c is a b and the sum is the xor of 2 that means s equal to x or b. So, from there we propose two functions generate g i is a i b i if 1 then c plus c i plus 1 equal to 1 and propagate is a i x or b i if true means 1 then c i plus 1 equal to c i. So, if it is a partial full adder, so now this thing is utilized, this concept is utilized generate and propagate, this two is utilized here that see that a b see that these are the two operands a and b and this is a and gate. Now, this becomes this is my a i b i this is a x or and this is my carry carry line. So, this is a b c. So, this is my x or b x or c and that is my sum. So, this is my this is my sum and a b. So, this is my propagate or carry and that we are telling that um, a b is actually g i the generate. So, this is my generate this is my generate line and this is my propagate a i b i. So, mainly two new uh, functions as if generate and pro propagate has been proposed. So, this is the propagate and this is generate. Now, using this concepts of generate and propagate, we uh, introduce a new type of adder called the foster adders. So, this is look ahead adders. So, as if the we are seeing the carry earlier before it propagates we are predicting first this is the concept. So, the carry bit C 1 can be these are p designed. So, if it is a uh, 4 bit adder say C 0 is the initial carry and the 4 carry bits these are the 4 carry bits are generated. Though these 4 carry bits are generated during the addition of the 4 bits of A and B, but as if we are as we know the addition function the sum and carry functions. So, from there as if these are predetermined this is the basic concept of the foster adder. So, as if these are not propagating these are designed separately. So, in this way the first carry bit C 1 is Z 0 plus P 0 C 0. Similarly, C 2 is G 1 plus P 1 C 1. So, this is nothing but G 1 plus P 1 and C 1 I can replace. So, I can replace C 1 by Z 0 plus P 0 C 0. So, this is G 1 plus P 1 Z 0 plus P 1 P 0 C 0. Similarly, when I am computing C 3, I know it is D 2 plus P 2 C 2. Again C 2 is replaced by its expression G 1 plus P 1 G 0 plus P 1 P 0 C 0 and I am getting that 
g2 plus p2 g1 p2 p1 g0 p2 p1 p0 c0 similarly c4 so from this four carry bits expression so as if before we do the addition though the propagation um, carry is generated during the addition but the carry bit functions as if these are the carry bit functions they are pre computed using the two functions propagate and generate that just now we have proposed the gp and these are the now see that c1 is the function of c1 is the function of um, the first generate bit and the carry bit and the propagate bit initial c2 c2 is again the function of see the first carry bit first carry bit and only the propagate and generate function c3 is again the first carry bit first carry bit and the function and the functions of the generate and propagate so one thing to be noted that here the the next carry bits are not the function of the previous carry bits they are only depend on the initial carry bit c0 only c0 is here so they are as if when i am computing c3 that c2 is not needed so we have not to wait until that c2 comes but based on these functions the g and p the generate and propagate i can i can compute c1 c2 c3 c4 parallelly so this is obviously this will be faster because i have not to wait for the propagation of the carries just now what we have seen the for ripple carry as the carries are propagating so the the adder becomes slow it has a huge propagation delay so here the main concept is that we are not waiting for the to generate the nth carry bit uh, until the n minus 1th carry bit is uh, comes or fits to the that particular addition bit bit additions so this is the concept so now based on this concepts and we uh, propose a new design called the carry bypass adders carry bypass means as if intermediate carries uh, we are bypassing we don't need to wait to generate the intermediate carries because from the design or from the introduction of two generate and propagate function we can design the uh, all the carry bits parallelly so if we consider the c4 the last carry bit the which is the worst case situation we have already seen c4 is this uh, this type of function so from this expression just we see we notice one thing that the function is c that g3 p3 g2 p3 p2 g1 p3 p2 p1 g0 p3 p2 p1 p0 c0 now only it depends here the factor main contributing factor is the this one p3 p2 p1 c0 so my carry bit is either c4 is either 0 or 1 now see if p3 p2 p1 p0 is this is the term only this term the carry is there the initial carry is there so if p3 p2 p1 p0 is 1 as it is a n function so this will becomes this will becomes 1 into 1 dot c0 that means if c0 is 0 then c4 equal to 0 if c0 is 1 then c4 equal to 1 that means as it is a as it is a and function so okay. 
this is a as if this is one and and here it is a C 0 and here we are get giving P 3, P 2, P 1, P 0. So, if this is 1 that means, here it is 1 is coming. So, actually I will getting here C 0 itself. So, this is my C 4. So, here C 4 equal to C 0. Okay. So, that means, if P 3, P 2, P 1, P 0 is 1, C 4 is C 0. So, now say as if one multiplexer is added here and see how I bypass, why it is carry bypass error that if it is 1 then as if that C 0 becomes the C 4. So, this is an multiplexer has two inputs, if P 3, P 2, P and P 0 equal to 1. So, directly C 0, C 0 is the becomes the C 4, C 0 becomes the C 4. So, actually at least for this condition I am bypassing the uh, uh, carry generation in intermediate carry generation. So, actually for this condition that it will be a if P 3, P 2, P 1, P 0 equal to 1 for this condition that it will be a very fast error because I am not waiting to generate the um, carry. And similar thing happens for the other intermediate carries also. So, this is the concept of the carry bypass address. And obviously, this is my select line. If it is 1, then only um, it is select line can be 0, 0 or 1. If it is 0, then the actual carry that is going there and if it is 1, then this will be going there. So, carry look ahead at us, the concept is generate carry out of any block C i in terms of carry in C 0 and add in pits A i and B i, no rippling of carry. So, here the advantage is that propagation delay is very less, there is as there is no rippling of there is no rippling effect of carry. So, here the propagation is propagation delay is very less. Now, these are the uh, design that mainly the gate implementation of um, the 4 bit carry look ahead error. So, here it is a 4 bit. So, we can what we can do again the inputs are Z 0. So, this line is Z 0, P 0 and carry is C 1. Here the another card is C 0. This is V 1, P 1, V 2, P 2, this is C 2 and this is V 3. P 3 and P 3. So, if I consider C 0, this is V 0, P 0, C 0, the carry is C 1 is generated. Similarly, then for the next bit G 1, P 1 and C 1. So, the next carry C 2 is generated similarly here. So, as if it has the 4 stages C 3 and this is my uh, that next 
303 or the next carry bit is generated from here and the p bit comes here. So, this is the circuit of that carry loop ahead error. This is my circuit of carry Now, so some of the adder circuits, common adder circuits we have just now seen. Main concept is that normally it is a um, full adder uh, can be realized by two half adders. If it is a 4 bit adder or n bit adder, the actually it is a replicatory adder and the propagation delay is huge. Just to avoid the propagation delay or to get the faster as if the intermediate carries can be generated from the first bit itself, first carry only depends on the first carry, so that we can bypass type of bypass error or carry look ahead error. That means, that carries are computed the, uh, from the first bit itself, not the and the intermediate uh, some bits, not by the propagation of the carry. So, it is it becomes faster. Now, uh, um, all of you know that multiplier is nothing but the add and shift, the adder and shifter. So, mainly for the design circuits, we the arithmetic uh, processing we need that adder and multiplier. So, now we see that how multipliers are designed. So, multiplier has normally there are two operands, one is multiplicand and one of this multiplier and the sum um, result is the product. So, n bit multiplicand is multiplied by each bit of the m bit multiplier. That means, here we have taken a, the block diagram, we draw then actually block diagram. So, this is a multiplier circuit, it is a n bit multiplicand, it is a m bit multiplier and we get a product. So, this is my, this is my multiplier, multi circuit. Each successive set of partial product is shifted one bit to the left and derived result by addition the m rows of partial product. So, it is if I, if we remember the multiplication function, the normal way of multiplication we do it is nothing but the shift and add. We see one example, earlier also we have seen the um, multiplier circuits. Say here um, 2 bit multiplicand and 2 bit multiplier we have taken. So, this is my b, b is b 1, b 0. This is my A, this is A 1, A 0, 2 bit. So, first is A 0, B 0 and A 0, B 1. Then I shift, I shift and then A 1, B 0 and A 1, B 1. Now, we have to add. So, this is A 0, B 0. So, as it is a 0 b 0 is kept here and then a 0 b 1. So, it is a 0 b 1 plus a 1 b 0. So, this is my c 1. Similarly, c 2 is the carry of this sum and plus a 1 b 1 and c 3 is only the last carry. So, now if we see this thing, so the first one is a 0 b 0. So, we see this is only one and. So, this is 
a 0 and b 0. So, this is my first bit of the product c 0. Now, c 1 is a 0 b 1 plus a 1 b 0. So, we see that a 0 b 1 now the second bit is there this is a 0 b 1 then a 1 b 0. So, the second bit a 1 b 0 this is my a 1 b 0. So, this is nothing but a half adder 2 mm, there are 2 bit sum and this is a sum. The carry is propagated to the next half adder and this is a 1 b 1 c 3 is nothing but the c 2 is nothing but the a 1 b 1. So, this is my a 1 b 1 and this is my last carry c 3. So, this is the simple circuit we have needed. So, for the 2 bit multiplier what we see we need 2 half adder and 4 and gates. So, if we write we need 2 half adder and 4 and gates. So, this is the critical path we see that a 0 b 1, a 0 b 1, then a 1 b 0. So, why we are see because this is simply a 0 b 0. So, this is this one C if I draw this is this one is added and then carry is go there. So, that means a 0 b 1 then this half adder carry is going to that half adder and this. So, the critical path is this this path is the this is the critical path of the 2 bit multiplier. Now, we see a array multiplier this is only bit by bit multiplier we have seen. So, again they are multiplicand and multiplier as if they are treated as a 2 bit two arrays. So, these are my multiplier say this is actually multiplier is 0 0 1 1 this is one array of bits and multiplier multiplicand is 1 1 0. So, if I just from the previous picture what we have seen that L S B. So, this is the this is the L S B is coming and this is a partial product. So, actually I need another line here. So, 0 this is 0 dot 1 0 1 the first bit. Now, here it will be 0 dot the second bit multiplier and this is. So, these are the partial products these are the these are the partial products. Okay. So, in this case this will be 0. Similarly, this is the partial products. So, actually when L s p of the multiplier these are the L s p of the multiplier is 
getting multiplied by all the bits of the multiplicand. So, this line this is these are the these are the the product partial products these three are the partial products that 1 1 0. Now, the second multiplied bit is multiplied by the full multiplicand array then these are the partial products. Similarly, these are the partial products. So, now we need some adder because this the, the when once the products are available only we have to do the addition to get the product the, the whole product of the multiplier. So, now as if the products are available and we give the um, adder circuit. So, these are the partial products available. So, if x and y are the multiplicand and multiplier, if x if x and x and y are the multiplicand and multiplier then see these are the, these are all these and gates all these and gates are giving the the partial products okay these are the these and gates are giving the partial products the first because y0 into this gives y0 x0 y0 x1 y0 x2 y0 x3 so as if the y0 is the first multiplier bit and getting multiplied by all the bits of the mul first the multiplicand. So, it gives a partial products. Now, uh, if I again if I draw that thing that means that x, x3, x2, x1, x0, y3, y2, y1, y0. So, y0 x0, x0 y0 will be as it is. So, that is the z0, that is my z0, this is z0. Now, x1, y0 x1, second term will be y0 x1. So, if I draw the second term, y0 x1 plus x1 y1. So, this is the second half adder is doing um, y0 x1, this is y0 x1 and this is my um, y1, um, sorry y1 x0, this is y1, this is y1 x0. So, this is the half adder the z1 is giving, this is z1. Okay. Now, now I need a full adder because now I I'll, the carry of this one, the carry is propagated. So see here now this is the this is the carry, and second bit will be y zero x two. So this is y zero x two, and and this will be uh, y 1 x 1. So, y 0 x 2 and y 1 because this bit is y 0 x 2 and then y 1 x 1 plus the carry of the previous one. So, this is a full adder circuitry to product two product lines or product bits and this is carry. So, this will give you the z2. Now, similarly the full adder and the last bit it will be a half adder and again that when we will be adding because it is a 4 bit. So, another some more array of products will be there. So, again this sum of this full adder will be added to the 
half error and then it will be z 2. So, actually if we if we try then to get the products it will be say x 3, x 2, x 1, x 0 these are my multiplicands and y 3, y 2, y 1, y 0 these are the multipliers. So, this will be x 0 y 0 which is nothing by z 0. This term will be c x 1 y 0 this is say x 2 y 0 this is x 3 y 0. Now, again if we do y 1 x 0 then y 1 x 1, y 1 x 2, y 1 x 3. Again it will be multiplied by y 2 x 0, then y 2 x 1, then y 2 x 2, then y 2 x 3. Similarly, the last one will be y 3 x 0, y 3 x 1, y 3 x 2 and y 3 So, if we uh, draw these uh, the product terms we will be seeing that actually the the we need a full adder and the half adder for the second bit we need two full adders and half adder for the third bit in this way we will be getting and again that the the last but second one is the two full adders and the last one is a one full adder depending on the what partial products we are getting. So, now we, we another type of adder we introduced this is called a carry save adder that result does not change when carry is passed diagonally because for this multiplication circuit what is clear that we have to propagate the carries of the different adders from the previous bits. Okay. So, there must be some propagation delays for that to propagate the carry. Now, as if this is a carry save adder. So, result does not change when carry is passed diagonally. And carry bits are not immediately added, but saved for the next adder stage. So, this is the main concept behind the carry saved adder and this is very much utilized for the design of a multiplier circuit. So, carry save adder structure is this is the thing say here uh, the input bits are coming. So, the first array is a half adder, array of half adders. Second array is C that one half adder and all the full adder where that actually the carry is coming from the previous circuit. So, actually this is the here the from here the carry is coming. Here again the from this full adder the carry is coming. So, the here that carry is coming diagonally. See, so here the carry is coming, carry is coming diagonally. Here also the carry is coming diagonally. See here this carry is coming, here the carry is coming. So, this is the diagonally we are getting this thing. Now, 
this is called that if we consider the last uh, array this is a vector merging stage because that as if that using this one half adder full adder full adder and two half adders two full adders in the last array as if we are getting the actual uh, product. So, in this case the delay is n minus 1 just like the uh, ripple carry adder because the carries are propagating here also that n minus 1 into t carry plus t and and t merge because here that just to get the the partial products we we, we have a number of and gates. So, which is actually the half adder circuit and we are merging this thing for the vector merge circuit. So, the delay is the carry propagation and the pro partial products the and, and delay and for this marching delay. So, this is the total delay of the carry cell adder structure. So, this is the regular layout of the carry cell adder these are the as if these are the adder circuits and we get the this is the as if 4 by 4 carry cell adder circuits. Okay. So, actually there are different type of adders which are um, uh, being utilized in real life circuit. Uh, so, we will continue this lecture in the next class also. Uh, as for the digital circuits, we need the uh, efficient uh, design of adders and multipliers. So, today's class we, uh, we end here that uh, how the multiplier can be um, uh, realized by using the different type of or, or, or the carry adders. Thank you.